Okay. Uh, first and foremost, we want to give Call Lawyer Howell by Shimmy Howell Shai. Um, that's all praises to the Most High God in the name of His only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Um, it's your brother Nicole here uh, from the Sakari sect in Chicago. Here with another uh, breakdown, or really a review of something uh, rather pressing in the new. Well, it's not really even pressing today. It's more so buried um, by the news of this Will Smith and Chris Rock thing that happened yesterday. But um, I just want to talk about the the accidental killing of a twelve of a fourteen year old boy by her cousin, and the suicide of her because it happened, right? And this 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 type of stuff, um, you know, it is really really getting to a point where it's just like. It's, it's becoming excessive. It's becoming too much. It's becoming something that's seen as, as as numbing to some people, you know? But this is just one of them stories that just really, really stuck with me, man. It's been on my brain ever since I saw the video. So the spirit just hopped on me to, uh, you know, to do this. But I'm going to start with a, a, a precept. Um, you know, first and foremost, uh, this is Deuteronomy chapter six and four. It reads here, O Israel, the Lord, our God is one Lord. And thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thine heart and with all thy soul and with all thy might. All these words, which I command thee shall be in thine heart. Right. <clears throat> So for those who are, you know, just coming into this thing, you know, it, it's important, right? It's It's been stressed over and over and over and over again. But, you know, it's, it's all good. We, we don't mind saying it again. That you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American men, women, and children, you are the Israelites that the Bible speaks of. You are God's chosen people. You are the children of the people who Moses liberated out of Egypt. You are the people who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ died on a cross for. You are those people. You're the ones that are going through these curses. You are the ones who are oppressed. You are the ones who are looked at as nothing but scum and in, 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 in trash by these other nations. You are the ones who have all the sauce and the drip and the swag, but we don't have knowledge. We don't know what is going on. We just do anything that these other nations allow us to do except for what we're supposed to do. And things like this continually happen over and over and over again. But we're going to get into this story real quick. <clears throat> you got, you got Will right here, man. Like, I don't really care about this, man. I, this, is, this is where my focus is right now. It says, online video shows girl fatally shooting and killing her cousin. Right? It says two cousins were live streaming from a St. Louis apartment when one child fatally shot the other before killing herself in what family members say was a tragic accident. Right. It says two young cousins were live streaming from a St. Louis apartment when one child fatally shot the other before killing herself in what family members say was a tragic accident. Police are still investigating Friday's incident in which a 12-year-old girl, Paris Harvey, shot a 14-year-old boy, uh, Karan Harvey, before shooting herself. Police initially described it as a murder-suicide. The girl's grandmother, 
So the St. Louis police, it's like here, St. Louis Post dispatch that she saw the Instagram live where the two cousins were making together at a downtown St. Louis apartment the family had rented to celebrate March birthdays. It was a situation where they were, were, it wasn't a situation where they were arguing or anything like that, said Dyson, who was from the Dallas area. They were playing with the gun when they shouldn't have been, of course. They shouldn't have been doing it. I think it went off. It was by mistake. So, boom. Anybody that, you know, saw that unfortunate video on Facebook, you know, they saw how the whole thing went down, man. Right? It was nothing but an It was an accident. It was a playful, foolish accident, yes. But it was an accident, man. You know? I saw that video, and when I saw it <clears throat> initially, it seemed like a, a joke. I'm like, that's, that's just a prank. You know, these kids are going going crazy with the TikTok. You feel me? But the more and more I watched it, and then this this news that came out basically solidified it for me. You know, that was that was crazy, bro. I You know, if you haven't watched it, I mean, I don't advise anybody to go watch something like that. But if you want to go watch it, it's on Facebook. It's probably on Twitter. Wherever you can get it, you know what I'm saying? Go go see it if you want. You know, viewer discretion advised though. Um it was very, very tragic, man. It was very tragic. This 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 girl right here, man, she, you know, she's a twelve year old girl, you know, she definitely it was definitely accidental. She didn't know what she was doing. You know, and 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 the and the and the young king, he didn't see it coming, man. It was just a, a, a huge, excuse my French, a, a huge clusterfuck, man. Everything that could go wrong did go wrong that day. But um, if you read, you know, what was going on, so like, yeah. If you read what was going on right here, it says to celebrate March's birthdays, right? We're going to go into something real quick, right? Celebrate March birthdays, man. <clears throat> go to Job chapter 1, verse 4. And it reads, And his sons went and feasted in their houses, every one his day, and sent and called for their three sisters to eat and drink with them. And it was so, when the days of their feasting were gone about, that Job sent and sanctified them and rose up early in the morning and offered burnt offerings according to the number of them all. For Job said, it may be that my sons have sinned and cursed God in their hearts. Thus Job did continuously, right? So when you do, when you celebrate your birthday, you're celebrating birthdays, you're basically putting yourself on a on a on a pedestal of God, right? Let me show you something. You know, because a lot of our people, you know, we just do what is 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 taught to us, right? We do what's taught to us. We don't actually do what you know what we're supposed to do. Like we're indoctrinated in this thing, man. So look, this is this is out of the Satanic Bible, right? It's a it's an it's a, it says it's, a, it's, a, it's a like it. it says the Satanic Bible and birthdays, the idolatry of self-esteem, the highest of Satan's holy days holidays. Um, there is an affinity of such commemoration among the wicked, as recorded in the Satanic Bible. Anton Lavey, right? If you know who Anton Lavey is, he led the Church of Satan, right? And it reads, <coughs> so like it. it reads, um, the highest of all ho holidays in the satanic religion is the date of one's own birthday. This is in direct contradiction to the holy of holy days and other religions, which defy a particular God who has been created in an anthropomorphic form of their own image, showing that the ego is not really buried. <coughs> The Satanist feels, why not really be honest if you're going to create a God in your image? 
Why not create that God as yourself? Every man is a God if he chooses to recognize himself as one. So the Satanist celebrates his own birthday as the most important holiday of the year, right? You go back. It says that they're celebrating March birthdays, man, right? Birthdays, not just one birthday. Everybody, all of their cousins, it was a, it was a family thing, man. That whole, if you see that video, it was a family, family function, man. They rented a, a, an apartment uh, complex to do this, right? They were worshiping themselves, man. And the Most High is not playing with, with us, man. He not playing with us. Let me keep, let, let's keep reading Job, man. This is Job chapter 1 and 13. And it says, And there was a day when his sons and daughters were eating and drinking wine in their eldest brother's house. Right? And there came a messenger unto Job and said, Oxen were plowing. The oxen were plowing and the asses feeding beside them. And the Sabians fell upon them and took them away. Yea, they have slain the servants with the edge of the sword. And only I am escaped alone to tell thee. Right? Hold on. Give me a second. Salakia, Salakia, Salakia. My bad. <clears throat> Let me jump down to 18. It says, while they were yet, while he was yet speaking, there came also another. And they said, thy sons and daughters were ink eating wine. And drinking in their eldest brother's house, and behold, a there came a great wind from the wilderness, and smote the four corners of the house, and it fell upon the young men, and they are dead, and only I am alone to tell thee. Right? So they were celebrating, man, feasting, having it, having you know, just basically exalting themselves, and the Lord. You know, sent that sent that um that that heavy wind to just basically kill them, man. Right? But watch this, man. Look at this, man. Deuteronomy. Because yeah, he sent Satan to do it, but Satan is just an employee. Really? Who's really responsible for this? <clears throat> Let's see. It says Deuteronomy 32 and 39. See now that I, even I, am he, and there is no God with me. I kill, and I make alive. I wound, and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. Right? So the Lord was responsible for that, for that, that young king and that daughter of Zion losing their lives that day, man. Because they weren't doing what... They weren't celebrating Passover. They weren't celebrating any of these holy days, man. Right? They were basically exalting themselves, man. And it's, it's just it's just unfortunate that, you know, like like we have to continually, you know, talk about things like this, man. It's Hosea chapter four and six. It says, My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou has rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. Right? That thou shalt be no priest unto me, seeing that thou hast forgotten the law of thy God. I will also forget thy children, man. Huh? The Lord is not dealing with you, with the kids either, man. Huh? Right? If the parents aren't doing what they're supposed to do, right? The parents aren't out here teaching their children this law, which is which is a law to actually do in and of itself. Let's let's go into that real quick. Let's just go into that real quick, man. It says, Deuteronomy 6 and 7, And thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children, and thou sh and shalt talk of them when thou sittest in thine house, and when thou walkest by the way, and when thou liest down, and when thou risest up. We got to be teaching our children this law, man. We got to be teaching our children knowledge of self. We have to tell our people that we have to tell our children, our, our people in general, that they are the people of this book, that this Bible is not the white man's book, that this Bible was given to us and only us, blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, and the Israelites who are scattered throughout the four corners of this earth. 
This Bible is your history book. Right? And because we fail to reject it, I mean, Salaki, because because we continually uh, uh, reject it, right? Things like this are happening, man. Right? Things like this are happening. You know, here we are, you know, saying this, you know, singing the same song, man. Singing the same song. More and more children are dying. More and more of our people are dying, man. Because we failed to come back to these law, statutes, and commandments. Right? This is Amos chapter 3 and 1. Hear this word that the Lord have spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family, which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities, man. Right? When we sin, when we do what we're not supposed to do, evil things ensue, man. Like two babies losing their lives in an apartment bathroom. Right? Like a baby catching a straight bullet. Right? Like a baby getting a hold of, of some drugs and taking them and dying right there, man. Things like that ensue when we fail to keep the commandments. When we fail to do what is expected of us, evil things ensue, man. When are we going to come back to this thing, man? When are we going to realize that the Lord is all we need? When are we going to put put down the old things that we that, that we once knew and start walking in the ways of our forefathers, man? This is going to continually happen over and over and over again, man. This is Proverbs chapter 1 and 26. It says, I will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. Right? This is this is this is this is what's going on, man. The Lord has no pleasure in doing this. But listen, man, if 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 we're not doing what we're supposed to do, the Lord, it's, it's just like your father. It's like your parent. When you don't do what you're supposed to do, your parent doesn't want to whoop your butt, but hey, it is what it is. It is what it is, man. Right? This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 65. <clears throat> it says, And among these nations shalt thou find no ease, neither shalt thy soul, so like it, neither shall the soul of thy foot have rest, but the Lord shall give thee there a trembling heart, and failing of eyes, and sorrow of mind. Verse 66. And thy life shall hang in doubt before thee, and thou shalt fear day and night, and shall have none assurance of life. Right? These kids, man, they had no idea what was going to happen in the next 20 seconds, man. They had no idea that, that, that they would, that their lives would just cease to just cease, man. Right? Now you got families broken over this man not just one child two to something so senseless because we fail to do what we're supposed to do we fail to implement Deuteronomy 6 and 7 right black black man hispanic man native american man Native American woman, Native American child, Hispanic woman, Hispanic child, Negro woman, Negro child. It is time to come back to your nationality. It is time to come back to your God. It is time to come back to your true culture before more and more things like this happen, man. Before we're st stuck singing the same old song over and over and over again. But with that, I want to uh, give a heartfelt, um, 
heartfelt condolences to uh, the family of these of these lost uh, children. Um, you know, it's, this is it, it's not it's not it's not easy. You know, this is this this is something that you know is unfathomable. But uh, yeah, man, until we come back to these law, statutes, and commandments, things like this is gonna keep on happening, man. But with that, we want to say, call all Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. All praise to the Most High God. And name was only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. You blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, men, women, children, you are the Israelites that the Bible speaks of. Repent and be converted. Shalom.